When Jenny told me about two swans building a nest next to the bike path, I knew right away I wanted to use my cameras to document the story. The nest is only about 15 or 20 feet away from a busy bike path, and the summer tourist season on Cape Cod is getting started. The swans and their nest are already a big attraction for locals and visitors, but the birds give little indication of interest in their unsolicited celebrity status. It's not completely clear how long the eggs have been in the nest. About two weeks ago, I went biking by here and there was no nest, no structure, no nothing. So this just came in within the last two and a half weeks. The reason I remember the day of the first egg is I went out for a work before the, I walked before the Kentucky Derby, which was May 2nd. So I went out for a quick walk back to watch the race. And I happened to see the swan lay the first egg on May 2nd. I named the swans Marie and Pierre. But the only way I can tell them apart is that Marie is the one that sits on the nest. When she leaves the nest, she covers the eggs and paddles away. And Pierre comes from across the pond to stand guard and make a few repairs. But I've not seen him get on the nest. The story of Marie and Pierre is unfolding in real time, and it's marked by hopeful excitement, but also discouraging reports from other interested people about the swan's territorial disputes with some geese and occasional episodes in which the eggs have been submerged in cold seawater. Swans mate for life, and while watching these two swans tending their nest carefully, but perhaps a bit robotically, I wonder if the bond between them is something that we would know as love. Or do they follow a set of rhythms and instincts that evolved over three and a half billion years of life on this beautiful and rare planet? And is there a difference between these two possible explanations? <laughs>